So we're out here today chopping hay. First crop, first field, first wagon. It's just a little one acre here. And we head over there and it's 13 acres, I think. But, um, yeah. Pretty decent yield we got here. Seen better, but seen a lot worse. Probably about average for first crop. Uh, when I cut it, I think out of the whole 20 acres I cut yesterday, I see maybe three or four blossoms. It would have been nice to get it cut a few days sooner than what we wanted, but it just didn't work out. But it's still pretty decent feed anyway. But yeah, about God, this one knocked out. It's kind of pain in the ass, but better than mowing an acre of lawn, I guess. That's kind of why it's in the field here, but.
to do some chopping, actually. I haven't chopped any loads ever. Usually I'm the guy unloading. Dad's milking. And I gotta fill some wagons up. So. Pretty decent in here. Better than doing with that bag girl. Right? Well, we're day two. Started on the second bag. Got that one full. I don't know how we got it full yesterday. We had a late start, unbelievable amount of problems, and so got it done. Took about 11 acres to fill that 8 by 150, which is really good. Last year it took like 25, I think. But yeah, we're starting this second bag. One of the wagons keep, I don't know, we, we're trying to figure out the problem why it is what it, doing what it's doing but yeah so it's pretty good stuff it's really starting to dry now yesterday didn't dry with a crap and was, well, on the wetter side it's still good for silage but when it's wet this bagger just does not like it at all it's starting to dry out pretty good it's starting to feed a lot better it'll get wedged between the beater in the sidewall and then it just stops it's really annoying but we got the 40 for 40 on the bagger 50 on the chopper 50 on here we use the 450 on here all wagons for this reason right here power shift when you're going down the roads you can just keep shifting up shifting down no clutching no stopping to go between ranges and there's a few spots the front wheel assist comes in handy you probably don't need it but um it really comes in handy this is what the bagger does it'll stop and then it'll start going again if you're lucky that one is pretty pretty not bad there pretty nice there's sometimes you got to get out and just fork it out of the top it's ridiculous some tell me it's a kelly and ryan thing some tell me it's just a bagger in general so they're spilling a little bit there but we'll usually scoop that stuff up that spills since it's on concrete and put it right in the TMR. That's what we did this morning. So, fun times chopping. I like round bale a hell of a lot better.
450 crossed over 12,000 hours today. I don't know if you can see it or not, but just over 12,000 hours now. I think we got this tractor at like 9,000, 9,500, so we put, I don't know, we only put 3,000 hours on it in 10 years. But, original tranny, engine, everything yet. Uh, we're almost done with this bag, really. Um, 35 acres we cut down was way too much for two 8x150s. It's yielding really good, which is nice for a change last year. Uh, hay crops were pretty much a joke. Every crop we made, we were pretty disappointed in it. But this year, so far, pretty good. I think last year we only made like a bag and a half. The first crop and run out at uh, hay here at home. I think that was, I think there's 22 here and 13, 14 over there. So 36 acres. Last year made a bag and a half. And this year, 20, 35 we got cut down. There's gonna be more than plenty for two. We're probably gonna have six or seven acres left. So. I guess times like this would be nice to have a tether because we cut it real narrow rows. And it'd be nice just to tether it out, spread it out wide while we're gonna round bale, but I don't know. You don't get into this situation too often to pay like 10 grand for a decent tether. But it'd be nice, but not feasible really. You'll love to see it. Bag two, full. Get the rest of this load in and we're done, I guess. I told Dad to stop chopping the next load. I have about a half a load we'll just have to feed. It. But, uh, wow. That was quick, it's not even five o'clock yet. And we didn't even get a good start until like 10.30, 11 o'clock. We made good time for once somehow. I don't exactly know how, but we did.